Welcome back to another video guys. Today I'm here with Joel and his Track Madone SLR9. Uh, hey Joel, thanks for coming man. And Track Madone SLR9 is a project one. It's a, is it a special special color? Okay, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, so this is my uh, Track Madone SLR9 uh, ETAP. Uh, this is a 2020 uh, model. Yeah, so a brief introduction about me. I'm 168cm, my height and uh, this bike size is uh, size 50 and so i got this bike from a from a previous owner so this is a second hand bike so what i understand from this bike is uh from the previous owner is that he imported it from us i got the frame from him with everything else including the group sets and uh, the crank and the chain ring and everything lah. so basically he sold me Everything less the wheel, the wheel set. Oh, yep. <laughs> so this is the golden question. <laughs> How much I paid for the bike? Uh, I bought it at, okay. Cause I didn't get the wheel set from him. So I bought it at 8K from him. Okay. Yep. So, <laughs> so by, by, by saying this, I actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself into some kind of trouble, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, probably who your wife yeah. <laughs> probably yes. So your wife doesn't know how much you paid for the bike? Uh, on her for her version is a bit discounted lah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know whether she's going to watch this video, right? So how much yeah. how much is the discount? Uh discount it by one thousand. <laughs> 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 yeah, so for her version is seven thousand lah. Oh, okay. But I think because I always try to um brainwash her into you know, liking road bikes and everything. <laughs> I mean, she's not really very supportive. Yeah, so I try to let her watch your videos. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm willing to uh, kneel on the durian tonight. I'm willing to, uh, you know, <laughs> sleep in the uh, in the service yard. <laughs> so what, uh, okay, so your, 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 what components are all these? Okay, so um, start from the more um, important ones that people know. My uh, group set is the, S uh, sorry, my group set is the ETAP, uh, SRAM rate ETAP um, 11 speed one without the AXS. I think now they have the AXS where they can connect to the mobile um, phone application or something like that. So mine is like the slightly older version. And then even now they have 12 speed already. So so mine is like just uh, 11 speed without the AXS on. Uh. Yep. And then uh, I also got the uh, chain ring, is, which is a uh, Q-Roto over chain ring. This one also from the previous owner. He got it. So this is a 5236. The crank also is a 170 mm uh, crank length. So basically, I actually didn't really change much. The OSPW also from, uh, it's a Redia, OSPW from, uh, also from previous owner. So basically 8,000 with everything less the wheel, wheel set. Lah. Yeah, the, the other thing I changed is, uh, I, I changed my, the saddle. This is the Bontrager Aeolus uh, Pro saddle. So because I, I, when I bought the bike, then I, I went to ride it and then um, I realized there's some discomfort Yep, uh, so I went for a bike fit, uh, also at Performance Bike Fitter. Yep, so they, they told me that my saddle is a bit too small. So I changed to this uh, saddle, it's a 155mm. Yeah, my butt quite big. La. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I'm not shaking so much now. My stem length is about 100mm. So I think after bike fitting, I realized uh, my stem is also a bit long. Yeah, I still can ride, still alright. It's just that uh, it will be optimum if it's 90mm. I mean, for now, I'm not gonna change it. Lah. I, I think I think it, work, it works well, so it's alright. Can you tell us more about the wheels? The wheels, uh, I think I haven't really seen this wheel set um, in Singapore yet. I mean, uh, other than Ray, my friend Ray, who also did an interview with you. So he's the one who actually intro me this wheel set. Because uh, when I bought this frame, I was uh, looking for wheels. So I don't know what to choose. And actually I'm a, quite a newbie in bikes like, cause I actually started um, riding in uh, 2019, late 2019. Initially I was uh, riding a Giant Defy 3. So it's a very entry level bike. Like. So after I upgraded to this and then I was looking for wheelset. So I don't really know what wheelset to look for. Yeah, so Bray was already riding um, this, this, with this wheelset already. 
So uh, he intro me. I say, okay, uh, uh, why not go for it? You know, try it out. And then um, this wheel set is a uh, 60mm. It's a brand called uh, Extreme Light. The weight of the wheels is about 1.6 kg. So far, um, it has been doing well. I mean, because I have nothing to compare to. Uh, previously, it's a giant defy, defy. So very entry level. When I upgraded to this bike, right? Basically, it's like a uh, heaven and hell, lah. <laughs> yeah. So I cannot say, oh, I tried this wheel set before, and then you know the difference is this one is better in what sense or, or lousy in what sense. So to me, everything is an upgrade. Yeah. So what I can I can say is that it holds speed very well. This wheel set. Yeah. What I kind of regret about this wheel set is not getting it uh, in a deeper. <laughs> Um, deeper, I, I want to go now that I ride with 60mm. I, I want to go 80mm. Where, where, where are these friends actually from? Or where do you buy it from? So, uh, okay, so because I intro from my friend, then I got to know this distributor, um, Fabian, and then from there I liaised with him, and then he actually shipped over, facilitated to ship the wheel set over. Lah. It's from Taiwan or Hong Kong, I'm not sure. Basically, it's kind of like you can choose what, what kind of hubs you want, how many teeth, let's like say you choose DT Swiss, you want what kind of DT Swiss hubs and blah, uh, and stuff like that. Lah. So it's kind of customizable in a way, yes. So why do you choose Swiss King? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> again, i very newbie. When I first got into this um, cycling stuff, <coughs> cycling world, you know, the the a lot of people was like, hey, Chris King is good. Chris King is, wow, the hubs is blah, blah, blah. I, I went online to research also, and I realized that a lot of people rave about Chris King hubs. Ray was uh, riding with DT Swiss, so I only had his hubs to compare. Yeah, so I kind of wanted to, I, I kind of like to be more unique. I, I kind of be tend, like to have more unique. So I don't like, ah, how you DT Swiss, then I also DT Swiss. Like, kind of like no difference. Even if, let's say, he's a 350, I'm a 240, 180. I just want to be something different. Lah. It's not as loud as some of the hubs that I've heard, but it has this low buzzing sound, which is kind of, it's kind of nice. Lah. Tires, a uh, very standard one. <laughs> GP 5K, 10 wall. <coughs> yeah, so again, the tires, I was looking for, I don't want it to be a standard tires. So again, the, I think the other option is only 10 wall. And then again, after researching, GP 5K seems, seems to be the most all-rounder. Um, Reviews are good, you know, so just go for it. Lor. Tires on my previous bike, I think it's a Victoria tires. In terms, in terms of the riding and everything, I, I would say this one is a lot better. I have more confidence in this wheel uh, tires. Yeah, in a way, when I corner, it's not like I go very low corner, like a motorcycle, but in terms of cornering, at bend, turning at bends, I feel more confident. Yeah. Okay, so because I got this... um. Helmet Lumos Ultra. I'm not sure if any of y'all heard of this uh, this this brand. Yep, correct. Can I, can I take it? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, the shifters. There's this button. Uh, this accessory at the on my right handlebar, right. <coughs> so it's uh because I bought this helmet, Lumos helmet, Lumos Ultra. So this helmet actually there is a I can charge this helmet. There are lights, so I'll just on it. So basically, yeah, it's a safety feature. La. I mean, because we ride in urban city, so I thought this would be a good investment. Anyway, I bought it at about $170, Sing dollars. I got it from, uh, it was a Kickstarter project or something like that. Yeah. So I got it from them when they were funding the project. So I, I, I thought the helmet design looks pretty, pretty awesome. So, so I got it. And then uh, I can actually, the, the button is to, Give me the signal, la, left right signal. Okay, so for example, I want to turn, um, it's like standard, you ride, uh, drive a car, drive a moto. So if I want to turn left, I will signal first. It's damn cool, yeah, man. correct. Then I turn right, if I want to turn right, I will just oh. signal. La. Wow. Yeah. And then this front, there's actually a front light here. Yep. So, so when I'm signaling, the light will just, um, oh, you're just turn, on. turn on. Then when I'm not signaling, then it will just blink. La. I can I can customize. Uh, there's an app for it in my phone. I can customize how it blinks, how bright it is, and all uh. So if I want to buy this, where can I get it? I think you can still get it at their website. Okay. Yeah, but price-wise, I'm not sure if it's the same 
as the Kickstarter initially when you when you fund their project lah. Okay. Yeah, this helmet is quite heavy. I think it's in a way good training for my neck also. <laughs> <laughs> so if I change a helmet that's a lot lighter, then wow, I think, okay. yeah, bike computer is a Garmin eight two zero. Also, I got it second hand from Carousel. Yeah, so <laughs> the previous user was a lady user. Yeah, so she just gave me this uh protector. I thought quite cute lah. Then why not? Then with the cause it's it has two like ears like that, like cat ears lah. So you know like eh maybe the ears kind of make it more arrow. <laughs> yeah, it's psych psycholog <laughs> psychologically you make yourself ah uh, maybe more arrow. It looks cute also. Then I'll uh, just put it lah. Okay. Yeah. So what uh what I wanted was a uh, integration lah, full integration. So I didn't want a uh, separate light mount and then after that I have a separate mount for for the the bike computer so I, I was looking around for integrate integrated um just one mount where I can mount everything so I found this um brand it's called uh wait I, I kind of forgot the brand <laughs> Lumare 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 if I'm not wrong it's called Lumare yeah so climbing is not my best suit <laughs> yeah so I kind of abandon climbs really so when I reach climbs I will just grind through it I don't aim to be the best in climbs but uh, what I cannot do in climbs I try to make it up on the flats yeah so that's what I do like I mean I don't <clears throat> I don't aim, I don't try to like shit I, I need to be good in climbs I need to be good in everything I have actually <laughs> my mindset is climbs is uh, out of the way I kind of backtrack a bit where when I Got my I sold my Giant Defy. <clears throat> I was looking for an aero bike. I'm looking for an aero bike. I was looking around for uh, different brands. Three main things for me uh, in the aero bike is firstly I wanted to have this brake. Secondly, I want into uh, electronic group set. And thirdly is comfort. I was looking googling, and I found that Track Madone has one of the best comfort in terms of an aero bike geometry. So that's why I got this bike. It feels good like, when I'm on the, on the bike. Because I've heard people saying that, you know, their bike are too stiff. Their bike are, are I, I don't know, too rigid or something. Yeah, but because of uh, the ISO speed, which I think a lot of people know about this function, it kind of cushions a lot of the, the impact that you feel from the ground. You want to take a break? You want to drink some water? Uh, sure, sure. Okay, I, I got water also. You guys love this section. The Instagram Q&A, if you want to ask your questions, follow me on Instagram and you get a chance to ask your interview. Oh my god. You get a chance to ask your interview questions. I'm going to play the epic music now. <laughs> Are you ready? Question one. OSPW, does it really make you faster or feel faster? OSPW, does it make me faster? Okay, so again, <clears throat> uh, I don't have a prior experience in uh, a good bike with no OSPW because my previous bike was a really entry-level bike and then when I upgraded to this bike, it comes with OSPW. If you ask me feeling-wise, I would say, wow, it actually helps. But <clears throat> if you look at it logically, personally, I think it's just for aesthetic purpose. Maybe there is a performance upgrade, but I don't think I am at that level where I kind of maximize out the potential of the bike or the OSPW to the point that I can actually feel that, oh, okay, the difference between uh, no, no OSPW and uh, with OSPW, you know, the difference is where, where, where. And your OSPW looks even bigger than your cassette, man. <laughs> Freaking huge. Okay, since you're talking about OSPW, let's continue OSPW questions. Is removing your back wheel more difficult with the OSPW? Not really. Yeah, as long as you get the technique right, you know how to remove, it shouldn't be an issue. Lah. You have rotor Q rings, so there are a couple of questions on this. Do you know what's a B ovals. Absolute black. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't know. Okay, so first question is how uh, whether any chain drop and how does it compare to absolute black ovals if you have experienced it. First, I'll start with the absolute black. I have no experience with uh, absolute black chain ring. Uh, I have a friend again, Ray. He has the absolute black uh, chain ring. Um, in terms of you, if you ask me aesthetic wise, maybe absolute black will look nicer. Yeah, cause it's kind of gloss looking. But uh, in terms of performance, in terms of the chain drop, I I haven't experienced any chain drop lah. Etap has been performing very well actually. Yeah, especially coming from a uh, Shimano 
user previously think uh, I'm a shrimp convert really. <laughs> the weight and the price does not seem to match. I last weigh it was quite some time ago. I'm not sure about the actual weight now, but uh, last weigh was about 8.4. To me, arrow is king. Weight doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Review says it's comfortable on the rear with ISO speed but the front is harsh due to the stiff head tube and fork. The rear definitely feels very comfy, especially coming from a entry-level bike. It's a world of a difference. But uh, so far for the frontal part, I haven't felt much discomfort. Yeah, I have no arm sores. My wrists are uh, okay even after a long ride. My shoulders are all right. <clears throat> so I think this is quite personal maybe. Maybe um, some people, they feel like it's a bit more stiffer. But yeah, so to me, stiff is stiff, but uh, still all right. It doesn't hurt in any way after long rides. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These are the Elite, sorry, I don't know, Elite, Elite what? Chronos, yes. Yeah, I think one of the guys, the Track Madone guys that I did, uh, Andrew, I think he has the same bottle. And I think the question is very similar, which is, does it bother you that the bottle on the side of the seat tube is kissing the top of your top tube? Because yours is quite small, right? And can you show us how to remove the bottle? Yeah. Okay, so this is how I remove the bottle. Oh, just, just that, it, right? Yep, from the side. Uh, so you got to pull it up on the top? Uh, yeah. Okay. So for the, the, the front one, I just like that. Yeah. How many times did the arrow bottle fly out of the cage? Okay, so this is the this is a very good question. So for those who are intending to get these bottles, right, uh, I will talk about the the pros and the cons lah. So for everybody to to know lah. So after getting this bottle, because I wanted an arrow bottle. Okay, I wanted a bottle that looks very arrow-ish. Yeah. So I found this bottle, and then uh, after using it for a few months, the pros of it. It's, it looks very arrow, very slick. Honestly, sometimes when I write, I actually kind of scared that the bottles are missing. <laughs> so, pros, looks nice, looks slick. Uh, cons, actually quite a few. Okay, uh, <coughs> firstly, the bottle capacity is very small. So if you are those who need to consume large amount of water, uh, I would suggest this is not the bottle to go for because I think the capacity is about 400 ml. Correct. So per bottle 400 ml. Uh, good is you can you top up full bottle. It's only 400. Li uh, uh, 400 grams. <coughs> so it's it's because some bottles are like 650 ml stuff like that. So kind of like you reduce your weight automatically. Yeah. But then uh, because it's from the it's so so thin right from the top sometimes when i look down i can't see my bottles from the top tube it covers the the bottle so every time i i, I, I self-conscious uh, i write right there like hey, my bottle is it still there then i look oh okay it's still there <laughs> <laughs> yeah then <clears throat> so the cons of it is because it's so thin uh you can't see the bottle it's kind of like I have to keep look checking but this is just for me some people maybe they're confident they can just i know the bottle won't fly for sure but so far i uh, i have actually dropped the bottle twice twice or thrice yeah and it's because i went over like a huge bump or a pothole yeah usually on normal roads normal road conditions the bottle stays lah. but because i went over quite a big bump uh it kind of ejected the bottle out yeah and then uh because of that the bottle itself has a few scratches really <laughs> yeah and then in terms of the the one where you say about the bottles touching the the top tube because my size quite small size 50 yeah so if you have a bigger size frame you're taller <laughs> not like me so short i think the bottle should be fine yeah just that because uh of my size these bottles, the position of the bottles, this is the best I can do. Lah. After hearing this, I don't think I want to buy these bottles. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a funny question. Seldom see Madones on the road. Do they display their bikes only, only or do they ride on the PCN? So for those who are outside of Singapore, PCN is a park connector network, which is a dedicated lane for bicycles. Okay, this one is like very simple to answer. If you don't really see a lot of Madones on the road, right? The only time you can see us is probably at a traffic light. <laughs> if not, you can't see us because we are too fast really. <laughs> no, just kidding. I, I, I'm sure by saying this, I'm going to get roasted. But yeah, la, I think, uh, okay, initially when I got the bike, I really agree that there are not a lot of Madones on the road. Okay. 
yeah so that's why again i want to be kind of unique so i got a madone uh then after subsequently getting a madone then i realized hey, actually there's quite a lot of riders okay. quite a lot of people who ride madones lah. Okay. yeah so maybe i don't know i seen a lot of times madones on the road yeah so i don't know maybe <laughs> Maybe too fast for you, lor. Just that simple. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you, uh, those those who are watching, please go easy on Joel. Uh. <laughs> uh, we are running a bit short of time, so I, I thank you guys for submitting all your questions. There are a lot of questions, so I'll pick the last two, and which are quite funny, lah. Okay. When all your stars align as one, when riding on your bike, how fast can you go? This one confirmed from my friends. <laughs> uh, when all stars align, which only happens in once in a blue moon, fastest are ridden. 40 plus only la. Sure or not? 40 plus. 40 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At uh, West Coast Highway, when the wind, wind is good. No, no headwind. Yeah, you. tailwind. Uh, you know, everything is good. Legs are good. Body is good. Body, mind, everything in one. 40 plus, maybe close to 50. That's about it. But yeah, it's not very amazing like, actually. If your bike or your wife fell into the sea, which will you say first? Again, this one, Sounds hard, sounds like a difficult question, but very simple to, to answer. I will save the bike first. <laughs> the reason is because my wife knows how to swim. Yeah. But do you? <laughs> I can't believe you went for the bike first and not, not me. No, because I will say I'm confident in the, your level of swimming. There's totally no need for you, for me to, to save you. You know, after kneeling on the durian, after sleeping in the service yard, I will keep explaining to her that, you know, this cannot save itself. <laughs> the fact that you can save yourself, you know, unless you tell me you cannot swim, then obviously, why first? Okay. <laughs> I, I, let, me, let me be a bit uh, on the, the female side, okay? Because if not, it'd be very one-sided. So I want to uh, go against you for, on behalf of all the females and the wives out there. So, but the thing is, you say your bike cannot swim, right? But your wife is alive and also your bike when it drowns into the ocean you can still go there and pick it up <laughs> ah, so how you answer that man uh i agree i agree so let's say uh <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I, die I, I die already. Uh, sorry, my wife. Uh, tonight I will take care of the baby. I will. I will do everything. Um, whatever bag you want to buy, I will buy for you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, my answer still stands. Uh, unless it's a really uh, difficult water to to swim in. <laughs> if it's just calm, normal uh, lake, you know, a pond or whatever. Yeah, bike comes first. <laughs> but wife always comes first. Okay, it's yeah. just that she knows how to swim. She confirmed how to swim. So I'm very confident in her level of swimming. <laughs> this is the level of confidence I have in my wife. So it's actually uh, I'm complimenting her. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't want to ask further. La. I, I don't want to get you into trouble. La. I know you're trying to save your ass, la, but okay, I'll stop there. Last question, and thank you, Sam Tan, for asking this. Are you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Yes, definitely. Since uh, the first few videos, I subscribed until now already. Uh, thanks, Joel, and I think it was a very funny session. La. Yeah, that's the end for this video, guys. If you want to come on my channel, uh, DM me on Instagram, follow me there, and we will work something out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks, Joel, man. Come